L dredge knot. You probably have seen it before. I did wear it on numerous occasions, including work. There are actually many guides and instructions out there on how you can tie an L dredge knot. But I am making this video to let you know which one worked for me and how I mastered the L dredge knot. I recommend the instructions provided by ties.com. They have a YouTube video and there's a bit of a history of Eldritch Knot but what I what really worked for me is this pictures a step by step pictures that shows you how to tie an Eldritch Knot. Now you want to have it handy open it on your mobile device or iPad. It's like your cheat sheet. And then what I did after that was to find a practice partner to experiment it on. Like Miss Teddy here. Yes. Basically, before you tie it around your own neck, you want someone else's neck first, like poison checker. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, it's just that it's tricky to tie it on your own neck the first time you try on Eldritch Knot. It is a complicated knot. And, I mean, just practice it on Miss Teddy so you will know which goes where and what you need to avoid, what you must do in order to make a perfect or decent Eldritch Knot when you tie it around your own neck. After some practice with Miss Teddy, you are ready to try it on yourself. Be in front of a mirror, you do need a mirror to pull this off and have the step-by-step -step pictures handy to refer to. And if in the picture, like the one on the top left of the screen, you see the white end of the tie on the left, then you do want to have the white end of your tie on your left hand side as well. Hold the white end of the tie with your left hand. Next, what the picture got wrong is actually the length. Eldritch knot does not allow you to adjust your tie, you know, like tightening your tie, bringing it closer to your neck. Once you are finished with the last step of the Eldritch knot, that's it. That's why you want to start with the wide end of your tie, the pointy end, to be in front of your belly button. Now you have a very long tail or the slim end of the tie, that's what you want. Before we go on, just some tips on what not to do. Firstly, don't do the following steps well below the collar because if that's the case, you will end up with a loose tie look. You want to tie it very closely to your neck in between the collar edges. Secondly, everything has to be tight and intact. To do this, you want to hold the knot with one hand to make sure that everything is intact. That's the row of your left hand to hold the knot. From this point forward, I'm actually flipping the video so that my hands and gestures match the pictures on the screen. Don't be confused. You still want to have the white end of the tie on your left hand. This way, you don't need to bother with imagining if I just brought something from my left to my right or vice versa. Just follow the direction or gesture on the screen. Everything will be your left and your right. Left hand holding the white end right hand holding the small or the slim end now the slim end over the white end and to the left bring the slim end under the white end and to the right then up through the neck loop and bring it to the left pull it to the left across the front from left to right and then from underneath through the neck loop bring it up now down to the left then bring it around the back of the white end to the right now bring it to the left through the loop you just made in the previous step now like I said you want to keep everything tight so if you have a loose uh, loop like this one just make sure that you bring it back up. It covers the knot previously created in the previous steps. Just and pull it to the left. Keep it tight. Now bring it up and down to the left through the neck loop. Next, up and down to the right through the neck loop. Now, bring it up and to the left but through the loop you just made. Adjust and pull. You want to keep it tight. It only looks nice when it's tight. 
Now just tuck that tail behind the neck loop and you're pretty much done.